Welcome, welcome. Good evening. My name is Obin Dako. I want to share with you as a, as a business person, you will see improvement when you improve yourself. As a business person, you will see improvement when you improve yourself. There was a time I, I, I met a friend and we were talking. He is a construction man. He has a block factory. He builds for people, particularly individuals. He, he is not the kind who has, you know, packaged the business uh, so well. He is not vision. For he is not, he doesn't have a team. He, he happens to be a draftman and he understands construction. So he got, and he's doing, uh, you know, fairly well for himself. And uh, so he decided to expand his, especially the block making business, you know, the factory. We were discussing some of the challenges that you know he meets on his business and he was talking of the fact that sometimes when he's not at the factory and he leaves the guys who are molding their blocks there you know when somebody comes around and the person is looking for a place and you know, up some blocks to buy you know the people are just focused on the block making <laughs> They don't even look at the new prospects. So that was his concern that uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not there, it's difficult for my people to even get in new people to come and buy the blocks that we are making. And if I happen to have a project that I'm doing for somebody, my attention becomes divided. And so uh, how do I keep moving? I want to grow, I want to push, but if I'm not there, a lot of things don't go on rightly. Now, the fact of the matter is that majority of our businesses are in those kind of uh, you know, categories. Majority of our businesses are the, the, the lady with a provision shop where the daughter comes from school to take care of it. Uh, my friend who is uh, molding blocks and building for people. He may not even have appropriate uh, accounting or bookkeeping for himself, whether he writes whatever money he spends and whatever money that he does know he receives. Most of the businesses are not being run as uh, you hear them from the MBA and the accounting and the, the, the quote, the top business people that we have in our country. The fact is the majority of the people who are doing in code business are very much subsistent you know it's it's it's, it's really let me do something for um, myself and usually that's how it maybe it starts when they're giving all these kind of big talks and and, and, and all this kind of entrepreneurship and all this big 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 english that uh, the people in suit and tie <laughs> confuse us with the fact is that they are not talking to a lot of the people. Majority of doing something themselves, who have started something themselves, who really, we are not even talking to them. Majority of the people who are trying to do something for themselves, we are not even getting uh, the information to them. You know, they go through or we go through a lot of problems. What are the business? What are the business? You are the only person in the business or um, you have some people that you, you have employed the business process the, the the growth the challenges are the same the things that you go through as the business owner whether you work all by yourself or some people are with you they are virtually the same and so the majority of the people who really need information that you need to give and for them to improve their processes for them to improve themselves for them to continue to do the business, you know, majority of them 
or the majority i'm not even talking of the guys who have you know registered the business have bank accounts have built some website have an operating office possibly speak some english wear some suit and tie you know read some books somewhere i don't think those guys are in the majority even though they are also small scale medium scale kind of businesses i think the majority I like my friend I'm talking about where he happens he did he, you know he just he's just there he happens to have a construction company he goes to tell tell people that I can build your house for you he organizes his boys he may not even prepare any proper uh, you know bill or quantities he has his factory somewhere he's working or he has his shop somewhere he's working he probably have uh, you know those kind of businesses there are many now, how do they get to improve themselves? My, my concern, for me, um, uh, I think that if anybody is doing anything, any business, this country is not really, we know that they, they talk a lot about, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of entrepreneurs, this country, for me, the stage that I came to do, to see this country, I think this country is more civil servant driven than entrepreneurial uh, driven. Our pride is not in celebrating people who uh, try to do business and and take care of themselves i think our pride is more of the directors working for government you know working in government institutions or politicians those are the things that we celebrate if you use people's attentions look at the things that they look at the things that they place a lot of importance on so they could they could be saying something they could be talking but really the attention where the attention is is where the where you, you tend to get people uh, you know to tell you what they really appreciate so i'm talking about um as a business person you will only see improvement when you uh, uh, improve yourself and so majority of us uh, you know if you're in business and the people around you are, how do you talk when the people around you whether your business is registered not registered whether you have an office not an office Sorry, the network. You're doing some activity and um, you call it business, like my friend, and uh, he wants to see improvement. So he has a block factory. He wants to come back and his boys are working. He wants to come back and his boys are getting more projects, more, more leads. How does he do that? How does he lift himself uh, from where if he tries to go out, he comes back and nobody's looking for any new project? How does he build himself so that he can go to three, four, five? six places and uh, and his people will still be uh, uh, available and he can still come room home and rest and encourage himself and get more business leads how does he do that because the fact is that even in the in the community if somebody where he is if so if if he even employs one person to be there so that that person can which we we talked about that then maybe you can find a young guy who is maybe SSA graduate or something or a lady uh, to be at the factory who you would train to be able to engage people who come to look for blocks to buy. He said, yes, yes, I will try. But um, how do I even pay him? <laughs> so it's not only a matter of, you know, he's seen that he, there's something that he can do. Because sometimes you can be doing business. And you, you will just be doing it with the old knowledge what you came to meet, especially those of us who don't read any book, who don't listen to any business talk. We just talk to our friends and it's not really, we don't even see it as something that has to be organized for growth. That has to really be a, a plan for growth. Most of the people who, I mean, my sisters, my cousins really um, have provision shops, you know, and all growing up that's what they were doing i never saw them take any inventory uh, or uh, i mean took stock of the product that they had in the shop they just you know happen to have a shop and every time they go to town they buy a lot come and put them you know so far as they have a lot of stock and people are coming to buy and they can take money to go and feed their children uh pay school fees that's in business now majority of us are like that they may not even think of growing in the business. If they happen to have some money to buy a land and build out of the business, fantastic. And I have a friend, uh, an old man, I buy some provision from him every now and then. 
he has a shop with his wife and the son is helping them uh, you know i've never seen them right and train their workers and they're just doing and they have been able to build some kind of structures for themselves they have done fantastically well now they may not even want to become like ShopRite or you know or like Meko. the majority of our people who can become like Mercom or ShopRite who may be able to think systematically, structurally, who may be able to employ the best of gifts and, 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 and envisage the future, build systems. Uh, <laughs> there are very few. They are looking for political position. They are looking for director from Ministry of Agriculture. They are not thinking. So our, our, they are not thinking of starting business. No, that's not the drive of our people. Let's face it very few people who are trying to do something are not even looking at the traditional businesses that have a lot of need like retail like wholesale uh, like some of the things that the foreigners are coming here with dominating systems taking over we are not thinking like that though we just want uh, to have five thousand dollar salary and be very much happy and so you see that the information is that week that if you are doing business and you are not the one who is studious you know you don't like learning building and the fact is who are you going to even learn from those are the realities because the people who may have the ability to even think structurally and systematically uh, don't have the practical information to support the things that they are even telling you so how are you going to lift yourself? Because the business that you're doing, you are going to meet a lot of frustration. And the frustration will be persistent until you, you, you're the, the person who started the business, until you start to grow and improve yourself. And a lot of the improvement will come from, the major one for me will come from how you deal with a lot of the things that you had in the environment that you grew up in. How, how you deal with that, those, those kind of information, the conviction, which a lot of them are myth. A lot of them are, are coming from people who have not even practiced it. And so, you know, they, 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 they usually talk of big businesses and how are people, some, I even hear some of, some of these uh, motivation speak, uh, motivational speakers, you know, they talk about uh, what is a succession plan and things like that. And I'm like, oh, succession plan, has he even built anything? For him to uh, give to the next generation so we talk about things just from book is book we talk about we don't even look at the, the the field the reality on it there's something there's there's one thing being motivated and there's another thing having a strategy practical information for growth uh, uh, uh for, for success to build something for improvement for expansion there are different things you can continue to listen to uh general motivational speech from a lot of these people who barely even have any other source of income apart from apart from the talking okay and there is another one who is doing something and getting practical information you need structure to succeed you need system to succeed you need strategy you don't just need <laughs> motivation no you don't no that's why you can go to church several times they motivate you but still, your life, you still, you can't see much significant improvement. Because what really brings growth and improvement is not yet somebody telling you that this will get better. No. They just make you happy in, the, in, the, in, in, in a minute. But the next day will come. The systems, the structures, the workable plans, the things that work, that you follow, those are the things that will bring the improvement. So it's not just somebody motivating you. Motivation is good. It may not... You know, you may not give up, but the fact that you are not giving up does not mean that <laughs> you're going anywhere. And so I am not particularly that much interested in just you telling me, motivating me that things will not will, will get better. But I want to know how things will get better. What practical steps you, you, I, you should I take? What principles have you tested that you think has worked that maybe I can also improvise? You know, so majority of the businesses are that kind of business like my friend that i talk about small and they are going through 
the same kind of pressure like anybody else who is building business uh, will go through. The improvement I'm talking about is not just the growth of the business. It's not just the growth in the finances. It's also even the emotional growth, the mind growth, the mind improvement. Because if you still, you cannot go to the next step if your mind, if your mind is still at the last step. And so my friend can only improve when he sees the need for the improvement and when he sees that listen all the information that i've been practicing all this while these are the things that have been responsible for uh, the kind of uh, uh, limit you know the limited approach that i use against or on my business and so it's not just that he ha he believes um, the convictions because people are telling him you know business is very hard um, you know the things that you are meeting, the difficulties, they are spiritual. <laughs> Don't trust people. If you bring somebody else to sit at your factory, and people come, they will take away your money. You know, they will take your money away, and they will run away. You can't trust people. These are the convictions that he has grown up with, and the environment that we grew up in has a very much uh, significant impact on ourselves. You know, so the things that we grew up with, the convictions. If you are going to improve, those are the things that you have to look at especially as somebody who is doing business because you cannot do everything by yourself you will still have to pick from the same people that they told you not to trust you will still have to pick from the same people that if you offend they will insult you they will they will fight you they will, their mother will come and you know for instance if you're into construction and you work with most of these um, helpers and and carpenters and masons and plumbers they can work with you for 10 years five years Three years two months if you owe them if you agree to pay them a week and you decide or you have some financial difficulty and you say that please wait the same boy who has worked with you all this while will flip and insult you and fight you and give you some kind of uh, pressure you would, you will never forget but it's the same kind of people that you can work with to grow your business it's the same and so you you you, you are not going to improve if your understanding of this kind of people or the people that you have to work with is still very much uh, uh, just represents what the, what the common person in the environment believes in. Which means that you have to change your mind on the way you relate with the same kind of people who will help you. And so uh, improve yourself beyond the myth that you have grown up with. Which means that you just have to do everything by yourself if you want to succeed, which is it's a myth. You cannot do everything all by yourself. You cannot be the only person doing everything. You cannot be the only intelligent person. You cannot be the only one who can do everything perfectly. You cannot be the only one who can be honest. And so if your belief system is, if I have to do it, I have to be present. So if my friend would want to get more people to sell his blocks and go to a lot of places and do all other things, he would have to change that thinking that I'm not the only one who can do it well and that I have to grow and, and, and trust people, you know, so that is a major belief system. If he doesn't work on it, he cannot improve. And if he, he does not improve, the business will not improve. If he does not improve, the business will not improve. So one of the main things that you would have to work on will be that I, people are as gifted as possibly I am. We just have to work on it. People can be as honest as I am. We just have to work on it. And I would have to grow myself to trust people. If you are going to develop yourself. And, 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 and if you are going to develop your business. Or you will continue to have the same problem all the time. Because the major one of the major things that you have to work on will be what? Will be the people. And it's the same kind of people that they have told you all kind of things. Some will be tribal. Some will be, some will be religious. You know, they can tell you that, oh, if you are a man, you don't have to work with a uh, gentleman. And you grew up with that kind of limited thinking. You know, so you are looking for people from your village to work with. <laughs> people from your village don't know much. And so some people, you go to their business, if they are quote, all the people around them are quote. If they are shanty, all of them are shanties. If they are airways, they have to be all airways. You know, some people even say that uh, you can never work with a Nigerian man. You can't trust them. Now, they say all these things because of previous experiences. Yes, they are previous experiences. And you may be right. But the fact is that if you are going to go to the next phase, you have to find a way of working with the same kind of people.
with those that they have told you not to trust. Now, the people who told you not to trust, a lot of people never even did anything. You know, they didn't even build any business. They just heard somebody say, and you have to believe it. Because all human beings basically are the same. We all operate with information. So the best of information that you continue to build. You know, like they tell, they usually tell us that don't, you know, you can't trust people. You can only depend on God. But you go out to buy, uh, 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 you go to the job bar. If you don't trust people, why are you eating from there? What makes you what, what makes you buy uh, uh, cocoa from the from the road and you know on the roadside? Why? If you don't trust people, why do you buy that? Don't you think that they have put some poison in it? So there's some kind of trust that you have for people. The only thing is that you're not putting the trust where you want to see results, when you want to see imp improvement, when it comes to the, the critical places of your of your of your life of your enterprise that you have to have the same trust. That's where you start to get opinions and you start to get all kind of uh, uh, myth and beliefs and try to ch challenge, you know, or come out with what your people told you. They don't work. If you come into your business with those kind of convictions, they don't work. You don't work. Okay, so they say that it is difficult to get money and you believe it. So that is, you know every difficulty is spiritual and demonic or your grand sister your grandmother in the village is is put some nails in your in your hand in your palm you know so whenever they put money there that money goes <laughs> all kind of beliefs you will never get better until you improve your mind on a lot of things that they have told you that are not true That is so critical. You will never see those kind of improvement until you work on those. And as usual, we are coming from that kind of superstitious background. And, they, and, and people, you see, most people don't even improve their knowledge. In his 30 years, he's never improved the knowledge beyond what the other person who is around the same age knows in the, in the, in the community. Just about, if, you are, if there is anything that has happened and you ask them what they think, they will just give you just about the same answer as the other person. Which means that nobody is really improving their knowledge. Now, you say that you want to build business. You say that you want to do something with your life. If you're not improving your knowledge and challenging a lot of the things that they told you, you your business will not improve. Your life will not improve. You will not go anywhere because you're constantly making decisions based on what you know. And if what you know is just around just about what everybody else knows, then what makes you think that you end up differently from them? You know, so you cover the basis, cover the basis, uh, get things right. The things that you have, you what, what you have just so much head on to that don't work, but you still don't know that they don't work. And part of those things that I'm talking of is that you cannot do everything all alone. And you are not the only person who knows everything. People know something. You're not going to get better until you know what other people can do towards the business that you're building. And you have to build the trust. You have to build uh, uh, people's expertise. People say that don't count on people. You can count on people that you have really uh, built. In a team that you have developed, you can count on. Then other than that, they won't go to war. Because when they go to war, they're expecting their team to cover them. Even at the point where they can be killed in the next second. They expect their team. Why? They didn't pick me. They built them for years and they went to work with them. They could trust them. And so it's not it's not that people cannot be trusted. But untrained people then cannot be trusted. Undeveloped people, unbuilt people, then cannot that you have not set up, developed something to train, then you cannot trust those kind of people. But you can trace people, you can trust people that you have developed. And they would have to qualify in stages. And so there are a lot of things that they just they just they just told us and you believe them. Now you cannot build anything with those kind of beliefs. You cannot, you know. So cover the basis right. Ask questions. And the other thing is that um, if you think that chasing government contracts is entrepreneurship or is business, <laughs> think again, because that's just about what a lot of people know when they talk about business. It's when they try to you know, cut some deal with some political friend or somebody working somewhere, you know, uh, for some 10%, somewhere. No, those are not business. All around the world, when they talk of 
entrepreneurship when they talk of business they are talking of people who have used uh, their mind to develop products to products you know things that are unique with them that people need processes you know they're they, they able to build a sales system a uh, retail structure they're able to build some product that there is need and they work on them they are not looking for government help they're not looking for contract from the minister of something something they're not looking for con a lot of people can waste all their lives chasing contracts chasing things from these people who continue to give you promise and you be, you can waste five years of your life trying to chase that and you think that you're building business you really you're not building business you're just wasting dissipating your time if you want to build business with government you rather want to carry money and tell the government that unless I have this money, I want to build hospitals for you. I want to charge you this. I want to build roads for you. I want to charge you this. I want to do this for you. If you are looking for a political agent to say that bring 10%, 20% so that I can give you contract, all that you're doing is that you're just taking contract. Don't say that you're building business because there's a big difference in that. Business is built with some level of control, some level of predictability, some level of... Uh, um, 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 you know, uh, like ability to leverage your experience or your talent, your skill. That is, that is when you are trying to build business and you're growing. So if your conviction is that me, if I want to do business, I want to go and see my friend somewhere and give me contract. And that's what most people know. So when they talk of business, they think that you just want to just get some contract and go and take somebody money, somebody's money and do it and then get some profit and say that you're doing business. <laughs> that's, 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 um, that will not make you improve because you are, your improvement is also, um, your character and your values should also improve. Then you are not going to see improvement. You don't want to waste 20 years of your life building something that you yourself could not even trust the processes you could not even trust yourself you know that you know that you were you were always um, lying and cutting corners and things like that if you if you, that is all that you know you have not improved beyond the system and so then then don't expect a lot of improvement when your value system when your character is still as just like anybody else you know you you just cut corners lie cheat just like that. And you think that things will improve. Things will not just improve. Things will improve, will not improve until you improve. So develop ideas, develop concepts that are in line with your personality, with your passion, with your gift. The way you process information. Those are the best ways to build business. You see a need and that need, one way or the other, meets the, thing, meets the things that you are concerned about. The things that you think you can add value to society. That's how, and that, that's the concept. Once you start to think like that, you're developing yourself. Then you can see your business developing. But if you think that you no, 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 this is a long journey. You know, I, I have a friend that can go to him, he's this, 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 and we can sit down and talk and take some money and, and things like that. You're just thinking like everybody else. You are not going to be different. As a matter of fact, your results will not be different. That's why sometimes you can meet a contractor who was doing so well, was cutting all kind of things with um, with uh, political people, and then uh, just one move, everything that he built goes down, and he could not even pick himself up. Why? Because he followed the money, he followed the contract, he didn't develop himself, he didn't improve himself. And so when he met the, uh, the difficulties, when he met the problems, the, the problems overcame him. And when you are down, the only guarantee that you get back up is because you went through the process. When you go through the process and you're hit, you get up. When you go through the process and you're hit, you, back, you, you fight back. But when you didn't go through the process and you're cutting everywhere, when you're hit, you have no idea what it what it will take <laughs> for you to back get back up and so you can only develop when you develop yourself when you, you can only improve when you improve yourself as a business person and a lot of it has to do with the way you think the way you see the way you process information the, the, your ideas what you think about business improvement you know and so if you don't do that then you will still continue to struggle struggle that's why a lot of businessmen businesswomen go ah uh, then they come down they go ah uh, they come down they go ah uh, they come down they go ah uh, they come down why 
because there is always some trouble somewhere you know there's always some trouble somewhere because they did not improve they did not even build the philosophy to improve themselves they do not build the philosophy to upgrade themselves they think that they can just do whatever everybody else is doing and still get the results of every of the, the top of the game it is never true and so uh, my name is Obindako. Um, I'm talking about as a business person, you only see improvement when you improve yourself. And so commit to constantly improve yourself. Commit to knowledge, commit to studying, commit to reading, commit, commit to get information that will improve you all the time. Then you will see improvement. Forget about all the difficulties that you meet and you trying to link them to some spiritual forces and all the things that they tell us in this country. A lot of them don't look like that. A lot of them just, the difficulties just depict the kind of, uh, uh, the structures that we have, the kind of skill that we, we didn't have, the kind of uh, things that we did not understand that got us into those challenges in the first place. And the moment we commit to growing and developing ourselves and getting proper understanding, proper expertise in those things, some, a lot of the things will improve. You know? Why is your understanding of financial knowledge? You know? What do, you, what do you know about system improvement, product development? What do you know about structural thinking? You know, what is your strategy? How do you develop team? How do you stage, stage the business well so that it can grow? You know, how do you in, uh, apply technology to, to, to improve what you're learning? And how do you even know who to listen to? Because a lot of people are giving information of things that they have never done all their lives. They have not even improved. So they just go have that information and come and tell you and you waste all your time listening to them and you go to the field you apply it doesn't work you continue to go back it doesn't work because they themselves have not even applied you don't even know it okay because what it takes to build a business in a country especially the business that will reflect the kind of value system that you stand for um, you just have to know <laughs> that it will take a lot of effort from you with a kind of uh, belief system the kind of people that you have to work with the difficulties the financial structure you borrow at 40 percent you know it it's not a joke to borrow at 40 percent to build a business and, and and still pay it back it's tough look at the tax systems look at the you know the people's understanding of of somebody doing business and so there is you have to even constantly convince yourself that you're on the right path because a lot of people will doubt you and if you don't even take care, you doubt yourself. But when you commit to self-development, when you commit to upgrading your information, challenging a lot of the myths that they told you, if you continue to do those, you, you, you at a point, you see that you have reached a stage that you have begun to understand what you're doing as a business person. And so the business is not going to change. You're not going to see improvement until you start to improve yourself, until you start to improve yourself. It could be there for 10 years, 20 years. If you're not consciously making effort to improve yourself, the difficulties you overcome you. The only way that you overcome difficulties is because you are becoming better. If you, if you stay stagnant, they will kill you. You give up on your dream. You give up on everybody. You become very much depressed. <laughs> and yet it was not spiritual. It is because you, you didn't have the idea of constantly developing yourself. So commit to self-development, build yourself, and, and see what can happen. So my name is Obindako. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Thank you.